um, I don't know if you can see the cover. It's about Atlantis. I don't know. If you could see the, this picture right here, you could probably tell. It's about Atlantis. I don't really know what all exactly it is. I think it's kind of like sci-fi type kind of thing. It, it has mermaids in it. And um, I just now read my first book about mermaids, which was, oh crap, what was it? And of course I can't see it. Forgive My Fins. Is that what it is? Forget, yeah, Forgive My Fins. And I loved that book. So this has mermaids in it too, I think. Or maybe it just has one more. I don't know. It says something about mermaids. Okay, all of these were 10 cents. Well, not all of them. Some of them. I'll just tell you. This was 10 cents. It's Bane, we Bane Reaker by Jacqueline Carey. It's volume one of The Sundering. I really have no idea what this is really about. I don't know. It talks about seven shapers and they shape the world to their will and six of them end up turning against one of them. So it's one against six. I have no idea. I just thought I'd give it a try. It doesn't look like anything I would read, but I thought I would give it a try. The next is One Fifth Avenue by Candace Bushnell, which is um, Sex and the City and Lipstick Jungle and all that. I haven't read um, any of those. This was 50 cents, by the way, instead of 10 cents. I haven't read any of those. I do have, like, Summer in the City and The Carrie Diaries. I have those. I just have not read those. But I've heard people talk about this book and say it was good, so I'm going to give it a try. I hope it is. I think this one was 50 cents too. This is The Other Bowling Girl by Philippa Gregory. I think I read this like years ago. I think. I could be wrong, but I feel like I did. Um, I absolutely love the movie, which it, this is the movie cover. I love the movie. Um, so I'm going to read it again. I love anything that is like that anyway. The next is The Gilded Chamber, which is a novel of Queen Esther by Rebecca Cohn. Um, I just picked this up because it was about Queen Esther. Queen Esther fascinates me. Um, she is a biblical character. So, I don't really know if this is a book that someone just wrote about Queen Esther. Or if this is a book by a Christian writing about Queen Esther. I'm going to be very curious to see about that because I'm a Christian so it's going to be curious to see which side of the fence this is on to see what they'll say about her. The next is The Starter Wife by Gigi Lavangi Grazer. I don't know. I used to love this show and I'm very sad that it's not on anymore. So when I saw this I was like I'm going to pick this up and read it because <laughs> I don't know. I just really like the show. Um, I don't even remember all about what happens, but I feel like what it says on the back isn't what happens in the show, but I don't remember for sure. Uh, this was 10 cents. Well, Starter Wife was 10 cents. Esther was 10 cents too. This is Mary Higgins Clark's um, Pretend You Don't See Her, which is about a woman who is a witness to a murder, and then she kind of has to go into, um, like, the witness protection program. But then she goes and tries to solve the murder herself. So, And then F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby. I actually just bought, like, a collection of his stuff on my Kindle. But when I saw this, I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Because this is, this is going to sound really sad. Because I swear, I don't remember reading this. I remember in school, we studied Great Gatsby, but I don't think we read the book. I think we watched the movie, which I think is completely and utterly ridiculous. We should have read the book, but I swear we didn't because I do not remember reading it. So, I was excited to see that. And then here is a Jane Marple murder mystery by Agatha Christie called Nemesis. I don't really know. It just says a peaceful English village is the scene of three... Brutal murders all committed in the name of love. Let's see. But I thought it was pretty because it's pink. And then the, page, the pages are red. 
it's just a pretty book. And I will tell you why this, I don't know if I will like this or not. <laughs> this was a 10 cent book too. It's called Sharon Shen. No, it's called Jenna Starborn. Yeah. Jenna Starborn and it's by Sharon Shen. And the reason why I picked up this book is because the very top of it says, a brilliant new twist on the classic story of Jane Eyre. But it's like a girl that is born on another planet. So I don't see how that's going to be about Jane Eyre, but we'll see. The next is Bluebird or the Invention of Happiness by Sheila Kohler. And this just sounds interesting to me. You know, it's, it's about um, the era around Marie Antoinette. She kind of gets wrenched away from it all. And she ends up in America on a dairy farm. So she was a French aristocrat and now she's a dairy farmer. I don't know. We'll see. I thought it sounded good. And The Historian, which I still, I feel like I used to have this book and I gave it away whenever I was getting rid of all my books. This is The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. And really, it's, um, it's about a woman, I guess, looking into her family's past. They're related to Vlad the Impaler, which is Dracula. I'm not really sure. I'm not really into vampire movie, movies. Well, I'm not into vampire movies either. Vampire movies are books. But um, I do find his story interesting. So I usually don't mind reading books about his history. So I don't know. We'll see how I like it. And the last book that I had for 10 cents was The Confession of Fitzwilliam Darcy by Mary Street. And this is pretty much... Um, Darcy's side of the story of Pride and Prejudice. So, I don't know. We'll see. Seems like I saw this on Amazon, too. But that's it. And, um, like I said, I have more books coming. When I get those, I'll show those to you. Um, in fact, I could have shown some up to you. Because I had my books shipped to Walmart, so I didn't have to pay for shipping. Because my husband works there, I thought he could pick them up. He forgot to pick them up. And one of them was Prince or uh, Clockwork Princess because when I went to go for, for it at Walmart, they were already sold out. So I had to order it. But anyway, that's it, and I'll see you guys.